Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll configure a document library for incoming email. So if you want to activate the incoming email settings in a document library, first we need to do it in central administration, make sure that our incoming email settings is configured, and then we'll come back and we'll enable the document library for incoming email. So to do so, let me switch over to my central administration screen and then click on uh, let's see click let's let's launch it again so I, I thought I had it open so let's go central administration let's go to system settings let's go to configure incoming email settings if you do get this message from web page where it says SMTP service is not installed and I kept it for a reason. I want to show you how we activate the SMTP feature in Windows Server. That needs to happen first before we can uh, configure the incoming email. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, to do so, start Server Manager and then expand or click on Features. Click on Add Features. Browse to the SMTP Server uh, on the Add Features Wizard, click Add Required Role Services. And then we're going to go ahead and click Next three times. And then we're going to go ahead and install. And then on the confirmation uh, screens, uh, verify that everything is installed correctly. okay and the SMTP server installation succeeded let's go ahead and close this we don't need this anymore let's go back here and configure incoming email settings notice we don't see that uh, message pop-up screen anymore under enable sites on the server to receive emails or in enable incoming emails and uh, make sure this is selected to yes this is going to activate this feature uh, for us uh, the setting mode, uh, we're going to choose automatic uh, because we want to use Windows Server's SMTP feature. If you want to use another email application on the server, then select advanced and then uh, define the email drop folder where SharePoint will look for incoming emails. Under the use SharePoint directory management service to create distribution groups and contacts, we're going to keep this as no. Uh, basically, mail-enabled lists will not be listed in Active Directory as mail-enabled contacts. You can still send emails to that list if you know its mail address. If you click Yes, then if you want to choose this option, uh, basically this tells uh, the system that you want to create a corresponding mail-enabled contact in Active Directory when you mail-enable a SharePoint list. The email server display settings this is basically where the emails uh, the email domain address for all the SharePoint mail enabled lists so we're gonna keep track of that we'll copy this we'll put it in a notepad we're gonna send an email eventually to this address list at this address and then we'll take everything as is and we'll go ahead and say okay so now the email settings are configured let's switch over to our SharePoint site SharePoint Quester. Let's go to Shared Documents and in here we're gonna now go to Library, Library Settings, Incoming Email Settings and allow this document library to receive email we're gonna change that to a yes and then here the email address will say this is Shared Docs Again, we're going to keep track of that at SharePoint2010.quest.corp. So we're going to switch here to our notepad and plug in the address control V and put an at. So this is the entire email address we're going to be sending to, which is the email address for this document library. And then uh, there are other options to choose from in here. The uh, save original email option we're gonna change this to a yes this is gonna basically ensure that the mail message is stored in the library but only the text body 
in the email and then we'll take the defaults for everything else and we'll go ahead and click on OK here. So now what's left we need to uh, switch over to our uh, Outlook and send an email to this document library. Okay so let's switch over to my Outlook box and we're gonna send an email. Let me go back in there and copy the address. Here's the address shared docs at SharePoint 2010. So we're gonna send an email to this address. This will be uh, the email enablement test and we'll plug in an attachment in here. Alright, let's go to C drive temp and there's evaluations.doc and we'll go ahead and send this email off. It may take about a minute for it to uh, show up on the document library. So let's switch back to the shared documents and uh, we'll refresh see when this email enabled document library will receive this email with the attachment. Here we go. So based on our configuration now we've got evaluations and we've got the email enabled test in here. So this is an email. I can open this. This is the extension of it and this is the actual attachment itself. Uh, this has been a configuration of a library to receive email video. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.